Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use the graphical user interface of Vue CLI. You know, there is something they have using the GUI or uh, graphical user interface. I don't know how people say this one. GUI, I, I mostly say GUI or graphical user interface, but some people say GUI application or graphical user interface, whatever you can say. This is, uh, this comes with uh, Vue CLI version 3. If you have version 3, you will have access to the graphical user inter interface. How you do that? If I come to my application here, let's open the PowerShell to the current directory here. What I can do is I can run the view hyphen hyphen version to see the version of my view CLI. Here is the version I have 3.1.3, which is the latest version. So what I uh, can do is you can run view UI stand for user interface and it is going to run a graphical user in interface in the browser and then you can start installing a new uh, view application and then you can configure you can install packages you can do all sorts of stuff so it will run in the port 8000 so it will the first screen you will see is here so i don't have any project here it will give you a lot of information here this is the port we are running and this is the date current date yeah so what you can do is you can go to the create project you can create the project here you can import if you have from previous videos or something what you can do is you can come to the project it will show you your existing project we we didn't uh, create any with the graphical bus that's why it, it doesn't show anyone so if i go to create from here you can pick any url you want to install by default because i open it in this folder it show me the current folder but you can change it and make it anywhere you want for now if you click on the create new project it is going to ask you the project name you can put here so for me i will just say view let's say ui this is the graphical user interface one so i give the project name it will create a folder in my view directory and it will install my view application there for the package manager you have two options either you use npm or yarn both of them are the same, but I think Yarn is a bit faster, but I will stick with NPM because we have installed NPM. And here is the another option. If the project exists, what you want to do? You want to overwrite it. If you put this as own, it will overwrite the, the previous one if they have the same folder name. So which we do not have, we will skip that one. And then they say, do you want to initialize Git if you want to commit something? yeah this is recommended to yes we will go with yes and it is optional to write the first commit or not so i will go to the next and here it is again asking in the previous video we learned how you can using how you can create application using the cli from the command line this is asking the same stuff the basic pre preset they have they have a personal which i have created in the previous video and they have manual and all sorts of stuff here so what you can do is you can select the basic which install view router sas babel and eslint so this is the basic one you can create your own letter manually and if i cl click on the create project it is going to take a little while to install those things and it will come back soon it is complete now after that you have your application here so if i go to the folder here is the view ui application we have everything is ready but if i come to the application manager here what you can do is you can go to the plugin tab here you can install any plugin you want you can go to dependency you can install any dependency here configuration and task so the the dependencies which are already installed is of course view and view router and there are some other uh, like eslint prettier and these are already installed it's, it, as you can see the node sas is also installed this is uh, the sas loader and view template compiler is also installed so these are all installed but if you want to install anything new just search here and install it like you can install bootstrap you can install jquery from here so if i go to the configuration here you will see the cli configuration you don't have to do any changes here basically this is going to say where you want to put the output of your css you can change it to any other direction but for now it is o just okay for again for the eslint this is the error handling what you can do is you can change some of the configuration 
and say you want to see the changes on save or not just turn it on or off and press save it will save the file for you and it will use this configuration for the task if you come to the task here you have four tasks here serve build length and inspect so if you click on the serve here you can run it now so if you run it it is going to run the php uh, the not php the npm uh, run command you know where, where this exists so if i come to my application what you can do is you can see the where is me okay yeah i have to get rid of it now what you can do is press y yes you can cd to view ui and then here if i open it in the vs code i will show you where all this task exists here is the application so all of these tasks that you see here they are they are all in the package.json so if you come here the script serve build and lint these are uh, the commands you have so what this is going to do this is going to run the npm the npm run serve for the first one this one it is going to show you the command also here so this is the command that they are going to run so now the application is running it, it is like building your application it disconnected from the server the reason is we disconnected from here you have to run it again the reason the command line was not working because it was doing everything in the background so i forgot to show you that whenever you install something here what it is going to do is it is going to run those commands behind the scene you you don't see those stuff that's why so if you want to run again just run the view ui and it is going to run the view ui and the task and the url you see here so again you wait for a few seconds it is going to run your application in the graphical user interface now it is ready so now if you come here and stop the task this time again it should work just fine now it is again connected click on the serve it, and you can run the task and it is going to compile all your file if you have any warning error and everything will be shown here so it will take a little while to uh, build everything here yeah it took uh, like 13 seconds to compile everything and you know for the serve it is not going to compress anything that's why it is about one point or about two megabytes of file that's why it is uh, a bit large so if you want to open your application what you can do is you can I think no not it is not here so you can come to the dashboard and your application should be ready and the task tab I think yeah here if you come to the task you have the open app and you click on this one it is going to open your application and this is our new project here it is also using view router and you have your fresh Vue.js application here so that was it for the graphical user interface i hope it, it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching